hello lovely friends welcome back to the channel so in today's video I will be talking about some few tips and tricks that can help you prepare for a trip maybe if you're making a trip to Ghana and you're taking your kids along the tips and tricks that can help you I made mention in the recent video I posted that I was going to do like a sit down video and let you know the things that helped me most of the things I will make mention of I did not know them myself I got to know them through the process of getting ready or preparing for this particular trip. so please take note of it so when you're taking your kids to Ghana it will be very helpful for you as well it may not be everything but these were the things that were helpful to me and I want to share them to you as well so please stick and stay please like this video share and comment by sharing your thoughts in the comment section and please subscribe to the channel um, at this venture I also want to say that thank you so much to all the new subscribers on board if you're new here my name is Christina as I always say and I am a nurse and I breed part-time on here I do videos on nursing, hair, beauty, lifestyle and a bit of everything. So you're welcome to be part of this family and thank you so much for clicking on this particular video to watch and I know that if you're new to this video you are going to stay right after this video, right? Alright guys so let me go straight to the video. So the first thing I will talk about is guys, go through your visas. If your kids are US citizens and you apply for a visa at the Ghana Embassy, please go through to make sure that everything is intact. I am saying this because we had um, an issue, especially with our baby. He was given three months visa. Meanwhile, we had applied for a two years visa but we were given three months. We did not pay attention to it because we did his visa last and we had done the other two kids like earlier. So when we came, we presumed that it was the same. Though we checked, we open checked, flipped through and everything, but we did not pay attention to it. So please, when you're traveling with your kids, even with yourself, pay attention to your documentation. Make sure the expiration dates and everything is intact and on point, please. The only thing that saved us was on the day we were traveling, his visa had expired already. So the luckiest thing was um, if my husband and myself, if we have our um, Ghana passport, which we had, thanks be to God, though it had expired, but we still had it. So we were able to apply for a visa on arrival for him. That was the only thing that saved us. So please, and um, please, and um, please again, if you're traveling with your kids who are um, US citizens or citizens in any part you know, of the world and you have to apply for a visa for them, please take note of it. Go through everything and make sure that everything is intact before the day of your departure. Another thing I would also mention is please pack ahead. Pack your things ahead. I traveled with one toddler, one infant, and one baby. So there was no way I was ready to go through the stress of forgetting anything for them. So I started to pack a month ahead, even like way before. Like if I get one item, I put it here. If I get this, I put it here. So I will not forget anything. Um, I know some of you would want, you know, last minute thing, but no. I am the plan ahead kind of person so i really planned ahead like we were like like two three months ahead of time yeah because i just did not want to forget anything i just did not want to forget so i got the luggages on time when we um, bought the tickets and everything i got the luggages on time and i started to put things in i get this i remember this and i also made list that also made me you know know the things that i was taking along so whenever i get the item i cross it out the list so i know i have this item and these are the items that is left to be purchased or if it's already there you know to put it together yes so that is another thing you can do another tip i will talk about is ship some items that you think will be needful for the kit ahead 
of time. Here in the United States, when you ship items, it takes somewhere from eight weeks to 12 weeks. Sometimes I think depending on the shipment company or you know whatever policies that may come with. But I think a maximum of eight weeks to 12 weeks, yes, your things will get to um, Ghana. That is Ghana. I don't know of other countries. Your things will get to Ghana. So what we did was to ship um, some items back home ahead of time like water um, like um, they are breakfast they love cream of wheat so we took breakfast and the snacks the juice guys trust me they have all these things in Ghana but we just did not want to take chances because we don't know how convenient we're gonna get that and uh, price wise and stuff like that we just wanted things to be convenient for us because we don't want to get to Ghana and we were gonna take like extra days to go around shopping for all these items so we just ship them and again these are items they are eating here already so at least it wouldn't make them feel the difference okay it will make them just you know feel that you know we're still taking the stuff that we've been taking already get used to the taste and all that we the adults we did not really have so much problem especially when it comes to food and stuff like that and one thing i would also want to say is i am super blessed that my kids love the um ghanaian delicacies the dishes give them fufu give them tease it give them watch it give them banku give them they will eat it so I was super blessed on that aspect so I knew that when maybe we go to Ghana it wasn't going to be a struggle but trust me they did not like how the Ghana fufu tasted the raw cassava with the raw plantain and stuff like that it did not go down well with them no <laughs> so we totally forgot to take neat fufu because I figured that since they like the Ghanaian food it will be easier for them but the taste was something different for them. So um, when we got there, we got the neat fufu and hallelujah, they liked it. Okay, so that is the main reason why it will be good for you to ship items from here to Ghana when you are taking your kids along. So they will just get used to the food and the water they have already been, you know, um, consuming and so it wouldn't bring any challenges or any difficulties for you the parents as well another thing I will suggest you take along is mosquito repellent and I think um, any mosquito spray that is good to use on the skin of a child so I got mine from CVS hopefully if I get a picture I'll put it somewhere you know in the video I got mine from CVS you can get some on Amazon and it was very helpful for the kids um, yeah so you spray it on the skin and you know you rub it around them i was using it especially like in the night in the night that is when i will use it especially when the lights are out and you have to come sit outside that is when i will use it and it was very helpful so you can get that as well this tip is very 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 useful and it helped me a lot guys when you are packing the clothes for the kids to take to africa or to take to ghana please with the pants i know it's hot 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 super 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 hot hot out there but trust me take a lot of leggings okay take a lot of leggings you can give them all those shorts and all that let the majority of the down dressings be leggings trust me these kids will be running around a lot they got a lot of boo-boo if you know boo boo if you watch their cartoons and you know i got boo boo guys they got a lot of boo boo but these leggings sage them they will be running back and forth falling on the floor and stuff like that there was a point one of the girls fell and the leggings got torn right from the knee up to the tie it got all the way ripped up so i was just imagining that if they were in a short pet or you know a short 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 okay what was gonna happen all that rip off area was gonna be like a big boo-boo like a big saw you know so please when you're packing the items you can give them sleeveless and you know short shirts and stuff like that with the bottom dressing please and pack leggings a lot of leggings because when you tell them to sit that is when they stand up 
and when he tell them to stand up that is when they run they don't hear wet <laughs> so please be on the safer side to prevent them from getting a lot of sauce and marks on their legs so another tip i will talk about is please put their favorite snack in their personal luggage or their backpack when you get on the plane because trust me the food they will serve on the plane you being an adult will not even enjoy it talk less the kids okay it's those snacks is allowed to pass through tsa so please put some snacks you think that your kids can snack on so they get to their destination in their um, backpack or you know their personal luggage else is going to be something else if your kids are the kind of the kids who when they are hungry they throw tantrums and you know cry and it's gonna be hard on you so please you can pack you know some lunchables or you know something for them in their backpack and please do not rely on the food they'll serve in the flight for your kids no please don't do that another tip i'll talk about is when you're taking a baby please remember to take a carrier or a stroller in the part i was going to like ghana i don't know which road i was going to use a stroller but trust me we went to the poolside to swim and that is when i realized that the stroller was going to be like very helpful for us if we had taken it because when we went to the pool um i would hold the baby and my husband would be in the water with the girls if the baby is not in the water because at a point he was tired so i had to come out with him and my husband will be in the water with the girls and i had to wait for him to you know come out also hold the baby for for me so i could get in the pool and guys it was super boring that was the moment i was like who i think the stroller would have been helpful at this point we could have just put the baby in the stroller wrap him together put a cartoons on or give him his favorite toy and while we are swimming together we will be watching him so that was the very moment I noticed that the stroller would have been helpful because it would have made all of us enjoy like the swimming, you know, we all being in the pool and not one person swimming and the other with the baby and the other person will come out to relieve the bit like it was so chaotic. So at a point I knew the stroller would have been helpful in this scenario, but I did not take a baby stroller. I took a baby career and so the stroller one way or the other was gonna be helpful in any way, okay? So that is one thing you can take with you to weigh down some stress from your shoulder. The last thing I will talk about, which was um, something I learned during this process is, guys, if you're traveling with kids, to be honest, I knew that if you were boarding a plane, disabled and the aged people go on the plane first that is something i knew but i never knew because i think this is the first time i'm traveling with my kids so i never knew that if you are with kids you go on first and the airline management ah uh, it was so so poor like guys i think we were the only family with kids and at least you can't even tell us something. If you were announced or something, we did not hear anything. At least you can tell because I saw, I think there were four people, like they had four attendants and not all of them had the computer. They had like two people behind the computer and two others just standing there. So at least maybe you can prompt us, oh ma'am, we are checking, you know, the parents and the kids, you know, on board first. Okay, for instance, if I don't understand English, then what? Okay, so that is one thing that was like an off it was a total off for me so mind you we were in the line and we were at the bottom they checked everyone in and here we come with our uh, tons and tons and a lot of hand luggages and they told us that we cannot take all those hand luggages because the flight is full you know when you take the flight on top of the seat where you put your hand luggages the place is full so there is no way we could go in with all those hand luggages and so we had to check all those hand luggages in as a main luggage mind you we had no locks on the hand luggages because we knew that we were taking it on the plane so we had no locks on it so my mom had had like a bad experience with how her luggages were handled when she came to the states first and was returning to ghana and it was very poor 
they broke her laws took some items from her bag and stuff like that so i was super crazy because in the hand luggage we had our charges and things we can easily you know get access to just in case we don't get all our luggages because that is the purpose of a hand luggage okay items you can easily use or you can get access to just in case because a lot of things happen um on board you know and especially when you get to your destinations i've heard stories that people lose a whole luggage like you don't even get it till they leave and they are being called a week you know later and if you have special things in these luggages that you cannot get you know access to it's very heartbreaking okay so it was uh um i had to give them like a strict warning caution like you should see me at the airport guys i'm super cool but that day i'm like ha ah, christina christina <laughs> don't be cool on this i'm like you know what if our luggages get to ghana and it's being messed up we are going to hold this airline responsible and all the lady who did was like fingers crossed you just cross your fingers at me and let's see what happens but thanks be to god everything was intact when it got to ghana and i was super happy and glad <laughs> at the end of it so please know this if you're traveling with kids you bought first you bought with the agent and you bought with um the disabled as well so make sure if you're traveling with kids regardless even if you get to the airport late don't go and sit somewhere you will not hear them you know make an announcement or anything like that even if you are sitting at the very end and they start to board please make your way to the front let them know you have kids so you can board on the plane first get in settle in with a kit so this brings me to the end of the video if this was helpful for you please don't forget to like comment and share and also do me good by subscribing to the channel and if you know something i forgot to add please drop them in the comment section so we can take notes of all these tips and tricks that can help our journey with kids or traveling with kids very smooth and stress free thank you for watching god bless you until then i will see you in the next video love you guys Mwah.